What is it, Lucy? What'd you find? Oh my God, Lucy, you're right. Of course I'm right. And the cards didn't lie, and I had such a strong feeling about this. Well, for heaven's sake, Lucy, what are you going on about? We have found your missing relative. Paige, it seems that you're related to a very prominent family in America. The Barrington. Yes. Paige, congratulations. You do have a family, and they're alive and well and living in America in Port Charles. <sighs> So, Rafe Kovich, this is my great, great, great grandmother, Rebecca. Space. Huh. Okay, I'm really not used to you looking at another woman like that. Kind of sort of weird. Rafe? Hey. Hey, you're looking at her like you guys are long lost friends. Hey, is that it? Do you know her? You appeared out of thin air. You, you must be saying things. Tell me the truth, Amy. What are you? I'm, I'm Amy Straddling. The truth? Amy Straddling. Amy, I think I know. Leave me alone! You don't seem very excited about this. What is it, Paige? Nothing. I'm sorry. It's just the name Barrington doesn't ring a bell. Well, it, it's it's Rebecca Barrington, and I can tell from this that is exactly the portrait that, that should have been hanging right there. That's the gap, Rebecca Barrington. Now, you may not realize that, but she is the missing piece to this whole puzzle. Who is this cousin that you talk about in Port Charles? Well, believe it or not, she's my daughter's best friend. Alison Barrington. You probably passed her on the street a hundred times. And she's a great, great girl. I, I know you'd love her. I'm sure she's a great girl, but that doesn't make her my cousin. Paige, look, my family is dead. There are no others. How do you know that for sure? Because I've grown up believing that, knowing that, and no amount of tarot cards or anything else is going to change the truth. I'm alone. I've always been alone, and I'm gonna end up this journey with nothing. Paige. Paige. Why are you so upset? I'm not upset. I'm... I'm scared. Because I want it to be true, but I'm afraid if I get my hopes up, this is gonna... I mean, I've been wrong about so many things since I've been but back. But you haven't been wrong. You came to Port Charles to reconnect with your past. You thought it was our past, but it wasn't. It was your family's. Paige, Doc's right. You know, you were such a pest about getting your portrait painted, but look how good it turned out. It brought us here, and in the end, it has brought us to the truth. But th this family record proves it. You have living relatives right in Port Charles. You're not alone, Paige. Okay, Ray, this is starting to get a little weird. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Do you know her? Did you meet her in heaven? Is that... Do you guys... Hey, okay, wait. You're starting to scare me just a little bit there. Oh, no, no I, don't, I don't know, Rebecca. Of course not. I, I was just admiring the portrait. It's everything you said it was. It's so lifelike. Right, because for a second there, you looked like you saw a ghost or something. No. Oh. No, not at all. I mean, you know how it is when you meet somebody that you've heard so much about and you right. feel like you know them. Right. <laughs> I know. For a minute, I was like, oh. All right. So, so what happened to her? 
Rebecca, I mean, why has she been stuck up in the attic all these years? I don't know. My family, they, they like barely ever talked about her, you know? But when they did, it was almost like a whisper, you know, like they didn't, they didn't want anybody to hear. This one time, I asked my grandfather about her, you know? I, I said, what was she like and stuff? And he sort of just brushed me off. And he said, Allison, some things you're just better off not knowing. Sounds mysterious. My grandmother made candles, so I don't know how mysterious that is, but... <laughs> when did she, you know... When did she die? Mm. I think it was probably the 1800s, I think. Why are you so interested in this all of a sudden? Oh, it's just because I figure she might be the only family member that I ever get to meet. <laughs> well, you did meet my Nana. Okay, listen, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go fix us something to eat. Are you hungry? Well, I, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave you here so you guys can get acquainted. <laughs> My God. She looks just like Paige. I don't believe it. Rebecca Smith Barrington. Smith, that, that, that's, that's Paige's last name, I think. That's it. That, that's gotta be it. So, Rebecca and Paige must be related, which means Paige is connected to Allison, which can't be good. I'm starting to get a, a very funny feeling that there's something you're not telling me. Maybe you're not worried anymore about who's gonna die, because maybe you already know the answer. It's my name. Oh, my God, you're tired. That's it. That's gotta be it. You wanna take Allison back with you, don't you, Paige? You want her to fill the fifth chair. Damn it! Amy! Stop! No! You stop following me! Not until you answer my questions. No. Okay, okay. I'll just keep talking. There is no witness protection program, is there? Of course there is. You've seen the man. You've... Yeah, I saw Ed. He died 30 years ago. Yeah, please. And what about that alley in Manhattan? Huh? I thought you'd, you'd no. disappeared. No, no, I'm... Listen! I thought I'd gotten distracted and you vanished. But the only way you could do that is if... What? Ian... The picture of that body in the alley. That was you, wasn't it? Yes. So you're... Dead, Ian. Well, we actually don't know her family very well. They travel a lot. But Allison is just like Lucy said. She's, she's a wonderful young woman. She's kind. She's sweet. Oh, she sounds lovely. God, could it be that my deepest wish has come true? I mean, I am connected to somebody here on Earth. I have a family. See, if you just trust in the universe, wonderful, <laughs> happy things can happen. Well, we have to get back so I can meet Alison. But what if she's out of town or, 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 I don't know, not there? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. I happen to know for a fact she's at my old place, uh, snug as a bug in a rug with Rafe. Rafe? Yeah, he's my cousin and they're, oh, they're sickeningly in love. Oh, my God. Addison Barrington is the woman that he's been so crazy about. That's amazing. You you know Rafe? How do you know Rafe? Well, I must have heard you talking about him. No, I don't think so. Well, you know what? Actually, maybe I've got him confused with somebody else. Uh, well, I don't think Rafe is exactly a very common name. Is this really a big deal? No. Oh. No, 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 not a big deal at all. It's just that, you know, when she said that about Rafe and Allison being together, it sounded like she really knew him and great friends, and I happen to know all of Rafe's friends, and Paige here isn't exactly on Rafe's friend list. Now, why didn't Paige say anything about her connection to the Barringtons? I mean, she knew I was in love with Allison. Why would you hide something so important, Paige? Unless you didn't want me to know. It's the, that dream. That dream where I saw Allison's name in the book of records. 
That's it. It wasn't just a dream. It was a warning, right? But you know what? You can't have her, all right? You can't take her back. Hey, Ray. Who are you talking to? I was not no one. Oh, yeah? It's kind of like you were uh, talking to Rebecca like I used to when I was little. Oh, yeah. You caught me. See, me and Rebecca were just having a little conversation about how beautiful and amazing you are and how lucky we both are to have you in our life. Oh, well, isn't that nice? What else did she say? Well, you know, she said, it's late and she's getting tired, so we should come back some other time. Oh, of course it's late. Well, then, we must go. But you know what I was thinking? Mm. I was thinking, since we're here, I thought maybe I could show you around the Barrington grounds. Yeah, that yeah? sounds great, but we should really get going. Oh, please, it won't take that long. It's really beautiful. It's okay, come on. But we just got here, and I thought that maybe you would really... Allison, like now! You're dead, but, but you're, you're here. I'm, I'm touching you right now. And how is this possible? Yeah. Sit down. Um, you tell me, how, how is this possible? Heavenly intervention. Second chance at my life's journey. Thirteen weeks to tie up all loose ends. Thirteen, that's, that's the watch. My calendar. Ticking down the hours, days, and minutes that I have left. Okay. Okay, give me a minute. So that means you're, you're uh... You're what, you're, you're an angel? Yeah. Oh, my God. I came down to Earth when that light landed in Port Charles. Paige was with me. And we were both allowed to finish our earthly journeys. That's why I was able to materialize out of thin air because of what I am. I'm sorry I didn't tell you the truth. But if I had, would you have believed me? I don't know. I, I... Do you believe me now? Yeah. I do, I believe you. Dry skin is... In Knott's Landing, everyone... Look, talk to me. The, there's something wrong. There's something that's been going on ever since we got here. No, it's nothing. Really? Because first, you're like staring at this painting like you're hypnotized, and then I come in here and kind of catch you talking to it. You know, I just want to get out of here, that's all. And it doesn't have to do with anything except for time. Oh, okay. Listen, no, it was, it was great. It was, it was amazing. Getting to meet your great, great, great grandmother, Rebecca. But you know what? I don't want to share you with her right now. I don't want to share you with anyone. I want you to spend all your time with me. <laughs> Any objections? You are seriously crazy. Mm -hmm. But I do love you anyway. Okay, so come on, let's go. Okay. Huh. You know what? It's it's just that we don't have a lot of time left. And I, I, I don't want to live in the past. I just want to spend all my time with you. Okay, I, I heard you. We'll just go home and we'll have a romantic dinner with candles and soft music and nakedness. No, wait, wait, wait. We, we, we can't go back. What? I mean, to Lucy's. But that's where we live. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But you know what? Wouldn't it be great if we could just disappear? Yeah, and go someplace in the time I have left, and, and, ju and just be together, just you and me, just you and me, right? Wouldn't that be right? Run away with me, Allison. Uh, really? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes! Let's, let's get away from here, you know? Away from all the people and all the things, all the everyday, ordinary things that just keep us away from each other. Okay. And, and let's just, let's just be together. Okay, okay, you don't have to ask me twice. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. But just wait. One minute, okay? This one. My beautiful, my beautiful Rebecca. Okay, this is goodbye for now, Ben. I'll be back. Do you remember when I used to come up here and I used to be so lonely, but you totally understood. 
But you know what? I have my own love now. And I don't have to share it with anyone. Okay. Don't worry, Allison. No one's gonna hurt you. And I will make sure that Paige comes nowhere near you. Actually, I do remember now where I met your cousin. Okay. It was in a restaurant, and we were both sitting at the bar, and uh, I remember that he was talking about how in love he was with this girl, and I remember thinking, that's so sweet, he was so in love with her, and then I remember he had this unusual name, Rafe. I, I see, and this just came to you, just this moment. Yes, just came to me. Ah. Does any of this really matter? You know what? That's an excellent question, because I thought our reason for being here was so that I could find my one connection to poor Charles, and Alison Barrington happens to be the only family I have left in the world. And I desperately want to see her before I go back. So, would you let me go make some travel arrangements and stop grilling me? Hey, you know, you fox hunt, I grill. It's tradition. <clears throat> well, I, I think I'll go check on the next flight out, if that's all right with you. Uh, rightio. Fine. Terrific. Great. Good. Good. Okay. Why the third degree? Uh, no, no reason. Oh, come on. There's always a reason. You know, I, I, I think we better go to, you know, make this. Uh, 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 uh. What is it? <sighs> okay. Please don't shoot the messenger. I, I, I really do, you know, want to feel happy for, for Paige and all. I mean, I, I, I want to believe that we found the real reason for her to be back on Earth. But. Oh, but I, I get this feeling there's something more going on. You mean Paige meeting Allison? I don't know, Doc. I mean, I, I think they should meet and all, but what if by finding her, we have stirred up more trouble than we bargained for? <sighs> wow, so, so you're, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got so many questions, I'm... Oh, well, I could imagine. <laughs> Where would you like to start? Who's Ed? My superior, up there. He's the one that um, keeps tabs on all of us. And you and Paige? Yeah. Huh. Ian, I, I never meant you any harm. And I hated living a lie, but at least I was living. I was back on Earth, feeling alive again. What'd you come back for? That's kind of embarrassing. Come on, I've seen you naked. <laughs> Might as well play all that cards. Tell me. Well, the part I told you about in the beginning is true. I wanted to come back to prove that I could do anything in the world. Hmm. You drive a car. <laughs> Even that. Okay, what else you got? I was taken from Earth before I ever had a chance to, um... experience love. So, uh... I was allowed to come back and discover what it was like. Now I have. Because... I have fallen in love with you, Ian. And uh, maybe that's the... the biggest secret that I've been hiding. I don't know what to say. Leave it to me to have one shot at love and fall for a happily married man. <laughs> I mean, at least now you are. And I'm happy for you, I really am. It's just, um... Just what? All I wanted was... was to spend these last precious weeks knowing what love was like. How it felt to make love to somebody that you cared about so much. He was all you thought about. I'm sorry you spend that time on me. Is there anything I can do? I have three days left. Spend them with me, Ian. Let me love you. Let me give to you. Nobody's gonna 
get hurt. I promise. It'll be our secret. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Secrets. Charles. I love you. I want to know what love feels like. What man wouldn't want to make love to an angel?